Good day, welcome back to my Patreon page. I'm your host Shaheen. In front of you is uh, important date for uh, the bottom of gold. I'm expecting platinum and silver will actually follow the bottom of. Uh, they will probably spot the the bottom around the same time when gold is expected to form a bottom. Uh, as per my research I've done, which is, says that we are going to see February 14th or 15th, 2022, the bottom of gold, and then we are going to start going up. As far as the strength of the gold is concerned, that how much strength of the the decline is concerned, or the strength of the bottom is concerned, I'm we're going to discuss that on on the chart and see what different probabilities are uh, possible. We are going to discuss all of that. So in today's video, I'm going to update my analysis uh, as per my previous analysis, which actually indicated that we are going to we are expecting prices to go up, and they have gone up quite a bit right from this bottom when everybody was so uh, bearish. I said I did see some strength in it. This strength has not given us uh, a lot of strength that we were expecting. I was expecting for the price to go all the way over here, create a probably somewhat sort of double and top right over here. I was expecting that we will have this uh, bottom, uh, this st sort of structure and in and structure A, B, and C. It's not Elliott structure. It's something uh, Gan said. Instead, right now we are looking for a we are looking at a structure where it is uh, a structure. Here we can see a sharper move up and a sharper move down. And right now we are seeing that price have quite a bit of reluctancy going up. It's, there's not much strength. We can say that there's probably going through this time, but I don't believe that. Now the reason is a couple of very important resistance points are in line. First resistance line is right over here. This is a support line for the prices to go up. And then the second one is right over here. Let me delete that and let me uh, let me delete this line as well. No, we can we can leave that. Okay, and delete this so they can give you some price action to see. We can see the price is just below 50%. Uh, so there is now as per the price action we have seen, and that's why I have decided to uh, make a uh, update. So we have not seen the price to correctly penetrate that level. We have seen the first resistance coming at 37.5 and the second resistance is probably going to go low, uh, somewhere around 50%. Either it's very close to the completion or either it's going to go hit and 50% and then a reversal is expected. So when I said the price were going expected to go up in a given period of time, uh, we have seen that time run out already. The time is running out very, very close to the running out of the time. And we are seeing strength coming back in silver uh, bearish side. So I'm expecting that, that uh, the price is not expected to go up and create a double top now. And then we sh are expecting to see a decline in the amount of price. Yeah, as I said that we have about two weeks, uh, about 10 trading days left from the uh, February 14th, February 15th. I'm clear about that date that we are going to see that bottom. Uh, now, if the bottom is going to come, the couple of prop, uh, there are a couple of major resistance points that we have given. I have given one resistance points to you guys already that we are expecting uh, for the price to fall around in this area. Uh, and and then I had to rethink over it. There is nothing in the in, in the trading which can actually stop gold not to go further down. Just because a, a, a support has held right over here or support is held right over here for this area, they won't even guarantee that the price is going on down uh, and going to pass through that. So the point here is that bears are going to be strong. It is going to be depend on the strength of bears. Uh, we all we know one thing from sure from our uh, Elliott wave analysis that price is expected to go down. This is what GAN analysis is indicating that price is expected to go down. As far as the strength is concerned, that's totally the strength of the trend. It totally depends on the the buyers or the sellers and how much selling is expected to happen. But let me tell you one thing. Uh, as far as Elliot, him, uh, sorry, Gan himself is concerned, he did mention the huge, uh, huge surprises at the end, at the end of a very large uh, pattern. We have seen this pattern going on from almost a year and a half. Could that be a possibility that we are expecting prices not only to stay in this area, not only to stay in this area, and come back all the way right over here at 1500 area? This is a possibility. I'm not gonna say. So, a couple of two, three important points. Uh, we have got from this discussion. First of all, we have a date now. I have done quite a bit of research on it. I'm expecting that gold is going to go bottom. There's a possibility because everybody is so bearish on gold right now. And we already are aware of it that their fundamental analysis is telling us that gold is uh, going to go down a bit because of the uh, rate height expected for next two years. 
could it not be possible that all of that uh, could be uh, discounted in price in next two weeks in that case we are expecting for the price to come all the way down to test around 1500 area okay, let me get back that to 1500 area all right so which means that we have first seen this support area as very important and then the next support area that's going to be in this one right over here so the point here is the prices uh, could come right over here find a resistance right over here the next important resistance that you are looking for right now is this over here if you still have enough time and that we have not close to uh, February 14th or 15th and we still have days time left that means that bears are going to go very strong and then we're going to find the um, the bottom occurring around fifteen hundred dollar fifteen hundred twenty dollar uh, that's the target for for the strength so there uh, I wanted to update that I first of all I did mention that I was expecting for the prices from right from over here all the gear go over here it looks less likely that they're gonna go create a double top with this one right now because there are a couple of very important resistance points right coming and one is this one right over here which is normally a popular uh, you can call this a flag pattern we can use it right over here and there's quite a bit of uh, uh, you know quite a bit of analysis on YouTube and all the analysis are pointing out it and it is a valid pattern we have seen a decline and we are seeing a flag pattern and it's been broken and right now it's getting retested so this is a valid point the other pattern is the, on a smaller time frame we can see that we have seen the support on this level broken area as well so if this resistance gets crossed the next resistance is this one for the prices to go up and the next one is this one the one we were talking about uh, right over here so I was expecting the price will go right over here what I did not realize at that moment that we had two important resistance that once and right now we have seen quite a bit of time almost three days of trading and we have not seen the strength come back we have seen it drop quite a bit strongly but it is gone up uh, not in a, as much strength giving a giving an indication that bears probably are in control and uh, market is looking more bearish right now and I wanted to up that analysis once again that we have date of September uh, February 14th or 15th 2022 I'm talking about not the next year I'm talking about 2022 February 14th or 15th uh, we have three resistance points one is right over here one is right over here and one is right over here there's a possibility that uh, the next two years rate hike could be discounted in next couple of weeks uh, in that case the inflation will come back in that means all that two years of uh, the negative uh, effect that the higher interest rate could have would already be discounted so we need to be really careful that's why I did more research and I came up with a with a date so please be aware of that date uh, if you are trading gold I'm expecting that we're gonna see uh, uh, silver negative as well as far as uh, the correction is concerned I was expecting definitely expecting the further prices to all the go over here in fact silver is more bearish right now as compared to gold we have seen some strength coming back right in our early time frame could there be a possibility that this is the first leg and this is the second leg and then price could go up a little there is a possibility definitely there is a possibility for that right but if you look at the price action it did is it allowing us to all the way go right over here no it is not allowing us to go right all over here it looks very less likely right now I was expecting for the price to all to go over here I did mention we were str expecting the strength right over here it did give us some strength but not as much as we are seeing in in gold so there is a possibility first of all uh, that we have probably seen a head and shoulder pattern could there be a possibility definitely one of the possibilities is right over here that we probably have already seen probably a head and shoulder pattern giving an indication that we are going to go down but once again we are seeing a b and c pattern one thing to be sure is that we are looking for this correction to be completing soon I was expecting earlier price to go all the way right over here it looks very less likely once again we have very important resistance areas as far as the bearish strength is concerned I think they're still intact it is not something dramatically going to happen upside and then go downside this is what I was looking at theoretically uh, the market should go up and but then once again we know market is not theory it's not perfect machine uh, it was terms of bulls to go up but they have missed their chance right now and we can see if price can go all the way right over here in that case we have a head right over here 
one shoulder right over here the other shoulder right over here and the price will decline further so once again as far as the decline is concerned let's have a look at very important resistance points first the major resistance point uh, for bears is definitely the low right over here which is 2134 one we figured out right over here is this one this peak which is around nineteen dollar and sixty three cents uh, another one on this support line is like this area right over here we are saying uh, this is uh, another area which is seventeen dollars and the most uh, the one lower to that one is right over here and definitely there is one lying at thirteen eighty four so I'm relying on uh, right now as far as price target is concerned I'm relying on the date or the time calculation uh, I happen to have done more uh, find that the time accuracy is much better as far as the uh, the price accuracy is concerned. I'll do my best once we are seeing um, the bearish side. I'll do my best to give a forecast of the price calculation and uh, to be exact for silver. Uh, but for that, we'll have to wait for the prices to fall below this area. So once again, I was expecting for the prices to go all the way right over here. I'm not expecting it. The max I think right now the price could actually hit is this area right over here forming a head and shoulder pattern with this shoulder and this shoulder. But if the price drops below this particular neckline already, in that case we have already seen a top right over here. And I would immediately turn bearish uh, if price drops below this bottom right over here which is 2274, uh, not 2274, it is on a 4-hour time frame right this bottom which is around uh, 22.15 or 22 dollars whatever it is this bottom is now uh, we are seeing uh, let me have a look uh, at uh, platinum chart now platinum is looking uh, giving us some strength we have not seen the decline that we have seen uh, already in gold and silver I think this gives us a chance uh, that silver is uh, that gold is going to go I mean platinum is going to go down this is the exactly same structure we are, I was expecting in the in, in terms of uh, gold and silver but when drop when the prices came to prod, uh, drop I was expecting for the support to hold but in case of gold and silver they did not hold uh, so that was a major concern that I got wrong in my last uh, week's analysis I think that was about uh, about a week ago so right now we can see that strength that the market is holding uh, it means that there were sellers who were not interested at that moment selling platinum. All right. Although, let's have a look at four hourly time frame and see whether uh, whether the strength is there in weakness or not. First of all, we can see uh, from the trend right from the top. This is four hourly time. We have this kind of going in sync with the gold and silver. We are seeing decline and a price high and a decline. And then price high upswing and then another decline and an upswing another decline and an upswing this time upswing was deeper and uh, does that means that the uh, correction is uh, i mean uh, the downward pr price movement is complete if you are an elliott wave analysis you're looking at it probably w a b and c uh, or a double three uh, correction would also help i'm expecting right now that we are have completed uh, first uh, zigzag the second zigzag uh, i mean uh, x another zigzag and other X and I'm expecting another zigzag down this zigzag once again is going to be short-lived because we are very close to forming the bottom surround right <coughs> and let me turn sorry about that uh, let me have back to daily time frame and if you can see if you can spot the that's why I'm expecting we have seen this is the bottom that we have seen around 565 so a lot of people are interested in buying the lows uh, the price is expected to come down in platinum as well uh, first of all the first target for platinum to cross is nine hundred dollar I'm bearish on platinum as I am bearish on gold and silver uh, and the, once again the strength of the bearish price movement or uh, is quite quietly dependent on bears how strongly they sell uh, platinum it is time for platinum to go down how far it goes it's completely dependent on how much the strength that we have seen we're gonna see uh, because but we are right now we can say that uh, when gold and silver got sold last week we have not so, uh, seen so much strength on the bear side so this gives us a chance if someone missed the 
the chance to sell gold and silver at the right time I think this still gives a better chance to sell platinum because it has not shown that weakness it is lacking uh, behind a bit so I'm expecting for the price to drop around the first target once again is 900 this is the second target and once again we have seen a third target which is around $800 uh, wish you good luck with your trading. Come join me on my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host, Shaheen. Have a good one and bye bye.